6.30 a.m. was the big kickoff for all of the different teams working on this. And the buzz and excitement from when I walked in the front entrance of the hospital, you could hear it and you could feel it. From a historical perspective, uh, in some ways, this moment to me has been in the planning for nine years. We had this, this vision of recreating a world-class health center on this campus where we have been for over 100 years, and to do it while still operating the hospital at the same time. St. E's has come a long way. I've worked here 21 years, and uh, I'm gonna get teary. Um, this is a big event. This is huge for us. Uh, there's been an immense amount of prep that has gone into this day. When we started out this building three years ago, one of our paramount building aspects was to build safety into this building, and that has moved into the process of the move as well. We wanted to make sure that we had zero defects on this day, and in order to have zero defects, we had to do an immense amount of planning. We did hospital visits, we did uh, mock uh, time trials where we'd push beds through hallways. We got down to the point where we knew how many feet it, uh, per second we were moving with a bed so that we could ensure that we had the timing and sequencing down uh, to safely transfer all of our patients from the current facility into the bed tower. The design, the implementation, the efficiencies, that all came from our associates. That came from a core team of staff that told us exactly what they wanted in these rooms and how they wanted them to look. Um, saving steps for the nurses, it's going to be huge for my nurses. Um, they run all over the place up in the old Oneida building right now. Um, really increase their efficiency with er having everything right at their fingertips and the bedside, meaning computers to supplies um, to education. Well, this is going to impact patient care significantly in a number of areas. Um, certainly fo first and foremost is patient safety. Um, the new facility has been designed around uh, very specific uh, new criteria that we use to evaluate um, both infection control uh, and patient care. It is going better than I could have ever imagined. I just, the cruise, the energy that is going on in this hospital right now, everybody is doing exactly what they need to be doing. Our patients are smiling, they are being transferred safely. It's, it's going perfectly. Everything's been going very well. There's obviously been a lot of time and preparation that's been going into all the details and making sure that our patients um, are able to move safely and that our staff um, has the appropriate assignments made to make that happen. As part of moving the patients over to the new bed tower, we are offering a blessing for the patients and the room as they come in. And so we are having a ribbon cutting that we're using as a way to uh, give an opportunity for ritual to take a pause. It's connected to our heritage, our mission and heritage with the sisters and our Catholic identity. So we have a blessing blanket that we are using that we are sending with the patients uh, to keep them warm physically and also to, in, to let them know that they're being held spiritually as they make the journey to this new space. Spiritual care is, is definitely on one of the front lines. Um, introducing the patients before they move and then greeting them when they come into the Fremont Tower. It's, it's definitely a good atmosphere and a good feel for, for the move. So this building, it may be bricks and mortar, but it's the people that built it. It's the people that designed it. And ultimately it's the patient that's going to be here on a daily basis that is going to benefit the most from this for the next 50, 60, 70 years. We're pretty excited about that. It's a great day in the history of St. Elizabeth Hospital and I could not be more proud to be here.